Hello again, everyone. Edwin Larmer back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about, in my opinion, what I believe is the strongest sign of the zodiac. Now, this isn't a sign necessarily that's going to win all their fights, whether it's verbal or, or physical or what have you. Just a sign with the I think has the strongest temperament, demeanor, and as far as overcoming obstacles, I guess you could say, generally uh, speaking, in their in the time during their life. Uh, well, let me start off. Obviously, okay. First off, if we go with the mutable signs. Yeah, I wouldn't pick a mutable sign because mutable sign obviously is, is changeable, can be flighty and fickle, and and because of the the inability to lack that persistence and dogged effort. I would not obviously pick one of them, and I'm sure, I mean, we look at all signs have their strengths in their in their own way. Uh, Gemini has the versatility and very multifaceted. We look at Pisces, an ability to adapt to circumstances and make the best out of even the harshest ones. And Virgo, their analytical ability obviously is very strong and, and might be unparalleled as far as the, uh, the Zodiac uh, Kingdom goes in Sagittarius with their expansive optimism. They just don't seem to let many things get them down. Now we go to the cardinal sign, uh, Cancer. Um, some people who regard Cancer as the strongest sign of, of the Zodiac, but because it, because love is so paramount with many of them, and, they, and I guess the kind of feeling behind this is that without love, how can we really uh, survive and, and love is such a strong integral part of our, our nature and so I, I do kind of, I understand that side in a way but as far as the overall uh, strongest sign I wouldn't pick them though some people do put uh, cancer as that as the strongest sign for that reason. Uh, other signs in the cardinal realm, okay Aries, obviously Aries uh, as far as their courage is often unparalleled, their fortitude, their valor, they don't have most Aries people, when I speak of this obviously Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, I'm talking about people and, uh, with these signs, and uh, they've, their fortitude is so strong and they generally have very, as far as any uh, fear of confrontation, verbal, physical, otherwise often little to none, and Libra is, uh, is a type of sign that, that is very uh, very balanced. They are very have a very even temperament and they're into, of course, being an air sign, they're intellectual. We look at it. Uh, Libra is um, arguably the most balanced sign of the chart. Uh, but, uh, and it is a cardinal sign, so they do have uh, their, uh, Libras are about that, we look at uh, about that balance and cardinal signs are about initiative and enterprise. But uh, I, don't, I wouldn't. I would put it as the, the strongest sign. They do have the ability to stand up for themselves. I think when when necessary, despite having their their very peaceful and tranquil uh, type demeanor. But it, it's not because and I'm I'm going to get to that in a little bit. Due to the fact that it's not uh, a fixed sign. Now Capricorn, though a cardinal sign, can often have a lot of kind of fixed qualities because they're they're single mindedness especially matters pertaining to business. Now, they're obviously very strong and astute as far as matters connected with that goes on an, on an average. Um, George Steinbrenner, the former owner of, of the New York Yankees, was considered very domineering and tyrannical even by some people, but he, uh, he also, um, really, nobody really outsmarted him, at least not that often in the business sense. And, and Capricorn personality, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, obviously have that uh, a great business acumen and I think is very uh, unparalleled and they do have some grit and tenacity and can be in it and it's a tough sign but I, I'm gonna say not I wouldn't quite put them as the strongest uh, because it's not uh, because it's not the fixed a, a fixed sign now I look at um now let's I'm gonna go to what I'm gonna be talking about uh, we're gonna get down the nitty-gritty so obviously I'm going to pick a fixed sign as the strongest sign of the zodiac. So that's going to be, I'll, I'll let me go through the signs first. Now we go through, um, go through Taurus. Taurus is, is arguably the most fixed sign of the zodiac due to the fact it is an earth sign and it is, and it is fixed. So they're obviously very stable 
and study and set in their in their ways and and even though despite the tourists can be can appear easy going and uh, there there a lot of tourists are actually e easy to talk to uh, looking at their their disposition but they obviously can be very intractable and obviously there there is some stu the stubbornness and rigidity and can be and obviously we know can be obstinate. Uh, and once they make up their mind, for the most part, that's pretty much it. So an argument could be made that they're the strongest. Now, we look at, uh, when we go to the next fixed sign, Leo. Well, Leo has obviously a very dominant personality, and uh, there only is one king of the zodiac, and they obviously can, can consider themselves uh, that way, and they're, they do have a very strong uh, personality and demeanor. They can... Uh, they do have a, a lot of command and presence, and it's kind of like, um, you know, like remember the commercial E.F. Hutton, when E.F. Hutton talks, people listen. I think the same could be said for the sign of Leo. Very charismatic uh, and a magnetic sign, and has, um, and like all fixed signs, has that ability to persevere, and and has that strong, persistent energy that comes with it. So an argument can be made for Leo. Excuse me, now we got to go, uh, the next uh, fixed sign is Scorpio. Now Scorpio uh, has that, uh, obviously it being a fixed sign, has, uh, has like I stated with other fixed signs, very persistent, persevering. They, they're resilient, they have that strong bounce back ability, not many things uh, I mean, they, Scorpio is the type of sign that can, can be down, but never seems to be, or rarely seems to be, completely out. Obviously, they have uh, they have that the Scorpio stare. They have that penetrating look about them. They seem to know when somebody's being duplicitous. They know how to uh, work their their situations uh, to where they can they can emerge uh, victorious uh, often and. They're very obviously it's a sign that is um, is very powerful and very and very strong, very magnetic. And now, last but not least, we're going to go to Aquarius. Now, Aquarius obviously it's a sign connected with uh, being futuristic. They're, they have very good uh, mental skills and ability, intellectual ability is very obviously very strong with them and. Being an air sign, they can be uh, amicable and friendly uh, disposition, and they exhibit that friendliness to others uh, very strongly. But at the same time, despite having that, these qualities and a humanitarian and selfless streak, they uh, they could also be obviously it's a fixed sign. They could be very fixed when they have to. It's not always apparent to others when they first, when Aquarius is first met, but they do have that strong uh, ability uh, to really to to really stick to their guns and they're very whether they're whether you might find an occasional conservative Aquarian or this is a more innovative one or one that's connected with more far-reaching ideas and more fu very futuristic they're going to be very set in those beliefs so anyway the sign, uh, so I'm going to choose one of those four signs as the strongest sign of the zodiac. And I'm, I'm going to go uh, with Scorpio because Scorpio just has this, this indomitable will about them in spirit. And it seems like they just, nothing really keeps them down for the, in most cases for that long. And they just have this, this willpower, this inordinate willpower with them. They don't, um, it's their resiliency. It's their bounce back uh, ability. They seem uh, any whatever obstacle they come to, even after some kind of uh, setback, it seems like they always they, they almost always bounce back in some way, shape, or form. And this um, this sign is just not one that ha they just have that not none lose type attitude in them that they don't it's like this refusal uh, to be conquered they're they even when they look down they're very rarely out completely and uh, they might even if something happens where something devastating in their lives and they're very despondent for a while 
they just seem to, to always come back. I had a prominent family member that passed away a few years ago that had a Scorpio rising, and it seemed like no matter what debilitation she faced or what adversity, she would always come back and she would fight through it with such strength of character. I mean, she also had her son in Leo and Moon in Aquarius, so obviously a very uh, fixed combination to say the least. But she had Scorpio rising and she, her bounce back ability as far as any uh, <laughs> close friend or family member was like, in my mind, was unprecedented. So anyway, uh, people, That'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the strongest sign of the zodiac, at least in my opinion. And stay tuned next time, where I'll be continuing my South Node Aspects uh, series. Uh, two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people stay well.